y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I will be starting a series on my channel. Um, this is my Disney series. So one thing that you will learn about me real quick is I love Disney. It is, it's become almost an obsession, probably not almost, um, but I've got one tattoo. It's of Mickey Mouse on my ankle. Um, that is how much I love Disney. Um, I have ever since I was a little kid, um, but I feel like it has become more important to me as I've become an adult. Um, one of the things I've always loved about it is the sense of optimism and the message that you can do whatever you want if you just try if you just go for it and have the courage to pursue whatever dream that you want um you can do it and i feel like i need that message even more as an adult as i'm getting older um as i'm kind of learning what life is um i feel like i need that and so um my my love for disney has definitely um resurfaced um and uh and you know it's something that's very important to me, so I would love to share my love of Disney with you guys, and so I decided to um, do this series. I know it's not new and that other people have done it before, um, but I decided to do a series in which I create a makeup look, um, possibly even a hairstyle um, that is based or inspired by Disney different. <laughs> Disney different characters by different Disney characters. Um, so the first one, as you can probably tell by the title, the first one I am going to be doing is Megara, aka Meg, from the movie Hercules. So Hercules is in definitely in my top five. I would say maybe even my top three of favorite Disney movies. Let me know down in the comment section below um, which Disney movie is y'all's favorite, um, I would love to hear, um, as well as which Disney characters you would like to see next. Alright, so if you like this idea for the series and like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I do have two subscribers now. I was so excited, so thank you to my two subscribers. Um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys are ready to see what look I come up with, for Meg from Hercules, then just keep watching. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first, um, especially since that's kind of the focus um, of this look is my eyeshadow, and since that's the part that I have the biggest difficulty with. Um, like I said in my last video, I am very new to makeup. Um, I am 27 years old, but I just started wearing more than mascara. Um, within probably the last six months. So I am definitely experimenting with colors and with different eyeshadow looks and different products, um, but I'm still very new. So let's go ahead and get started on the eyes. Um, one thing that I do want to say is I am going to be using a palette which I'm so excited about. I'm so glad that I got. Again, most of these products that I'm going to be using are drugstore products just like my last video. I can't afford to go out and spend, you know, 40 bucks on an eyeshadow palette. Um, so most of these products, again, will be drugstore. Um, if they are not, they're, I think they're either samples or something that I got in like a travel size. Um, so, but something I'm very excited about is the eyeshadow palette that I will be using. It is a collaboration with a YouTuber. Um, she was one of the first ones that I started watching um, when I got into makeup and when I got almost to the point of obsession. I love her channel. Um, I don't hear enough people talk about her on here. Um, I feel like she deserves um, for people to talk about her more. Um, but it's the BH Cosmetics Shan XO palette. Um, this is actually the remix. So this is the second one that she came out with. The original one had nine eyeshadows and nine lip colors. This one has all 18 eyeshadows. Um, so this was in the original. I don't have an autofocus camera, so please bear with me. So these shades are the shades that were in the original one, and then she had um, nine lip shades in the back. Um, so these are the new shades that she has that are specific to just this palette. We are going to be using a few from this side and a few from this side. I'm not 100% sure of where our look is going, but I do know I want to use those colors. Um, so I'm going to zoom you guys in and we are going to get started on our Meg eyeshadow look. Alright, so you guys are scooted in a little bit. Um, not quite as close as you were in my last video. I realized that that was like super close. Um, so so let me know in the comments um, if you like it that close or if you prefer kind of this, you can see my whole face at once kind of, um, 
kind of view um, but yeah let me know so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I will be priming my eyes so one thing that I just recently got from Ulta is the NYX dark circle concealer um, so I'm just gonna put that on my lids and one thing that's awesome about this palette is it comes with a pretty big um, mirror so that's awesome I typically like to, um, I typically like, sorry, so I typically like to, um, film outside, um, and in my last video, it was such a pretty day, it was so sunny outside, it was warm, um, so I was so excited to be able to film outside, and today I tried doing that, and it is pouring, so you couldn't hear me over all the rain. Um, so I did have to come inside, but it is unfortunately still really dark and I rely on natural lighting because I don't have all the like expensive lighting rigs and, and ring lights and stuff like that. So, um, so please excuse the lighting. I know it's a little bit different than my last video. Um, so then I am going to take this shade right here called, it is called Clarity. Um, and I'm just going to set my primer with that. And I am using the EcoTools um, Complexion Blending Brush to do that. Okay, so then using, um, I just got these Real Techniques brushes on Amazon, I'm super excited. Um, so using the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to take the shade right here, sorry, not right there, right here. It's called Bestie, and I'm gonna use that as my transition shade, so I'm just going to run that through my crease real quick. And like I said on my last video, um, I do have quite a gap in between my eyebrows and my eyelashes, so I like to take my transition shade above my crease. There's not as quick, there's not as big of a, um, empty space there. Hmm. All right, so then, so then I am going to take kind of a flat shader brush. This is one from Wet n Wild. And I am going to go into our main star, this purple shade right here. It is called Lover. And I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid. And when I say pack, I mean like pack it on. super nervous about this because I've never used purples um, or at least not that much and so you know I'm a little nervous because I don't know I'm still trying to figure out what shades look best on me um, because I feel like it's weird because I am a redhead but I am mixed and biracial so I'm a little dark for a redhead um, my skin tone is so a lot of the shades that it's like oh this looks really good on a redhead I'm like oh but I'm a little darker than normal redheads and so it's like I'm still trying to find my find the shades that look best with my skin tone with my hair color with my eye color um, we are figuring things out let's see does that look good I think it might So that's looking pretty good so far, but I kind of think that my crease is a little too light and kind of pinkish. So I'm going to grab that same brush, um, but I'm going to go into, let's see. I'm gonna go into the shade Terracotta. It is this one right here. I know you'll see my rings all of a sudden appeared. I realized I didn't have them on and I always feel so naked without my, without my rings on, um, so. 
the reason why all of a sudden rings have appeared on my hands. Um, but I'm going to take that shade Terracotta and I'm going to run it through the crease. Hopefully this wasn't a bottle of wool. It might have been. We shall see. Because that's, that's a little intense. Um, but what is this for if not to experiment and try try new things? So you live and you learn. Okay, <laughs> so I still feel like this needs a little bit of something something to darken it up a little bit. So I'm actually going to take, I know that this is kind of like a makeup no-no, but I think I am going to take this shimmer shade. Um, it is called Toasted, and I think I'm going to run that through my crease a little bit just to kind of give it some depth a little bit. and. Um, I'm just going to take that, I think, off like just kind of the outer half of my crease um, just to see how that goes. weird I kind of like it so well, <laughs> I don't know I don't know I feel like some things I'm like ooh, that's super cool and then it's like no Jamie you look like a clown so I kind of like that though and yeah so I'm gonna pack on a little bit more purple I'm gonna pack on where did my brush go I'm gonna pack on a little bit more purple just because I feel like a little bit of it got lost in that crease shade. So we're going to pack on a little bit more, especially since this is, that's supposed to be our main focus with this look. Because we know, well hopefully you guys know, if you don't, you need to go watch Hercules. But hopefully you guys know Meg wears a lot of purple. I'll try to find a picture of her and put that up on the screen. Uh, but she wears this like really pretty Grecian purple dress the whole movie. Um, so, so yeah, um, I think that is it for the eyeshadow. Let me actually take, I'm just going to take kind of a fluffy blending brush um, and I'm just going to kind of take that through, make sure everything is nice and blended. All right, so next we are going to move on to what I am most fearful of. It is the dreaded eyeliner. Um, so uh, as you can see in the picture, Meg seems to have a wing. So I am going to try that. Don't know how it'll go. I've only created a wing like maybe once or twice and they weren't that good. <laughs> So, um, so I am actually going to go off camera to do this because I have a feeling it's going to take a long while and it might be embarrassing for me. So I'm going to go off camera to do this real quick. Alright, so we are back and honestly, I feel like it could have gone worse. So I don't think it's too bad. I went ahead and because I thought that my eyeliner looked so weird and you could possibly tell how many mistakes I made. Um, without mascara. I went ahead and also added my mascara off camera. So I can't remember if I said what eyeliner I was using, but it is the Essence Super Last Eyeliner in matte black. Um, it was really easy to apply. It has this little brush tip. And as far as mascara, I used a couple things that I got in my Sephora Play Box. Um, so one of the things that I got, they're actually both Lancome products, I just realized. Um, but one of the things that I got was the um, Sills Booster XL Mascara Base. So I went ahead and put this on as kind of my primer. Um, and then I applied the Monsieur Big um, Mascara from Lancome as well. So we are finished with the eye look. So I am going to zoom you guys back out a little bit and we are going to finish the rest of the face. All right, moving on to the rest of the face. So I did already cleanse and moisturize. So we are going to move on to 
primer. And I am going to use another sample that I got in my Sephora Play Box. This is a sample that I got. It is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer in this teeny tiny container. I have heard really good things about it. I've been using it a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to put that all over my face. in my first video, um, in my first makeup tutorial, um, I do not wear foundation, so we are going to move on to concealer. Um, so the concealer that I'm using today, if I can find it, you think you're prepared, you think you've got everything ready, and then things just up and walk away. Ah, got it. But actually, I've got one more product that I wanted to put on um, before we go into concealer. So this is yet another product that was in my Sephora Play Box. It is the Peter Thomas Roth, which I know is like a super expensive brand. It is the 24K Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. So it is an all over self adjusting illuminator or you can use it as a targeted highlighter. I am going to use it as an all over illuminator. Looks like that. Um, it's kind of a beige champagne color, um, but definitely very shimmery. So I'm just going to rub that in my hands and kind of rub that all over. We're going to illuminate today. Um, because I feel like all Disney characters just look so like glowy and beautiful and perfect. So, um, that's why I kind of wanted to do this. So, yeah. So next, now we are going to go into concealer, and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I wear the shade 10 Light, um, so we are just going to put that on the under eyes. After that we are going to use we're gonna set it and then use this for kind of all over evening um, this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder I wear the shade 20 light medium um, so I'm gonna use that to set I'm gonna use that to set my yeah we'll use that I'm gonna use that to set my concealer um, as well as for on the rest of the face. All right, then let me get my big brush. And so I'm going to be using the um, Real Techniques powder brush, quite appropriate. Um, and we're just going to put that on the rest of the face. if you will. Again, I, it's not something that I do every day. Again, I don't think I said that once. Um, this is not something that I do or use every day. Um, but if you guys would like to see my like everyday makeup routine, um, let me know and I can do that for you. Let's move on. One thing I don't like about this, about like a loose powder, is that if you ever have, woo, if you have products that you don't use, it's hard to get it back in without making a mess like I did all over my pants. Next up, we are going to be going into, hold on, I meant to use a different powder because I used that one in my last video. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. So now we are going to be going into a blush. So I will be using the Wet n Wild. I'm a little, I'm gonna use this. I might end up using something different over top. Um, but this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Brush in the shade The Princess Daiquiris. Um, but as you can see, it looks like this and it's very light. So I, like I said before, I might end up using something else over it, but I have not used this yet. Um, I only have like two blushes um, because I typically don't wear blush. Um, I've got like a natural flush. <sighs> One of the few downsides to being a redhead. 
Um, I've got this natural flush all the time. Can't really hide what I'm feeling. So I don't typically wear blush, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add it in. I guess it's kind of doing something. I don't know, because my skin is the kind that like you just put pressure on it and it kind of reddens a little bit. So I don't know if this little bit of pinkness is from the blush or if it's because I'm just touching my face. Yeah, I kind of like it. Um, Shan, Shan XL, Shannon did also say that you can use this pink shade um, as a blush. So, but I think that might be a little too pink for me. But just so you know, um, and I would 100%, 100%, 100% recommend this palette to everyone anyone and everyone it is so good um and it was i think i got it for like 18.50 so it was less than 20 bucks you get 18 shades and i mean they're huge pans so you get your money's worth and more in my opinion all right so that was actually not as bad as i thought it was going to be i really didn't think that it would show up on my face which i don't know that it does really in the camera in real life it does, I promise. Um, but just just so we have something that maybe show up. I'm gonna use the, um, the one that I used in my last video. This is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. And this is with my new Real Techniques um, blush brush. All right, so that is that. So moving on to, all right, moving on to highlighter. So um, I said in my last video that I like a very subtle highlight. We are gonna go for something a little bit more today because like I said, I feel like Disney characters are always just so glowy and like shining and we are gonna go for something a little bit more brightening, um, a little bit more blinding. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so I will be using the J Cap Beauty You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in the shade Crystal Sand. Um, so, if you can see that, it is like blinding. Um, so we will be using that. Can y'all see that? In here a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Alright, so moving on to the lips. Oh, I just sprayed my hair. I just got my hair relaxed. If you can tell, I don't know if you can tell from my last video to this video, but I did get a relaxer just recently. I'm super excited. Got a little bit of a trim. For the lips, I'm a little unsure of what direction I want to go. I think she has kind of darker lips in the movie. I'm going to go with, I just got from Flower Beauty. This is their... Um, Petal Pout Lip Color, and this is the shade Autumn Rose. Um, got that at Ulta as well. They are now selling Flower Beauty um, at Ulta. So we're gonna try this out. Ooh. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, I really like it. Uh, so this is the final look. Um, let me night. Let me night. Let me night. Thank you. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Um, if you have any ideas about um, other characters that you would like to see a look from, um, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Yeah, I had so much fun creating this video with you guys. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm, I'm getting subscribers. I'm like getting there. We're, we're getting there. So um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave any comments, any thoughts, ideas that you might have. I will leave you with a quote from Walt Disney, one of my favorite people ever. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.